Hello YouTube friends, um, this is Mr. Gypsy Rose, <laughs> That's a nice name. Um, this is Asha, say hi. hi, so this is my partner and we're going to participate in the Fiber with Friends challenge, so I saw this challenge uh, for the first time on uh, Zach from the Stout Stitch pod podcast. I saw it on his channel and his was quite funny. And then I also did see uh, Debbie, the Canadian crotcheter. She did it as well. So uh, we, I'm going to try it. I don't have the answers on here, but I'm going to try it. And I'm just going to find out how much Asha actually listens when I speak. So... I don't know, where the dog will be you or there? Wherever, wherever's comfortable. <laughs> wherever's comfortable. So get comfy. Get comfy. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions, and this is going to be crochet, wait, wait, okay, first question, how do you feel about the fact that I have a crochet podcast on YouTube? I think it's good, I think it's a very good thing, and I think you're doing very well with it, and I'm quite interested to see how far it goes. That was a pretty good answer, pretty good answer, so... I'm going to mention some crochet terminology that crochet people who crochet use regularly or I use regularly no. and see how many of them you actually know because you probably heard me okay. say them. Maybe. So it will tell us if you ever listen. Oh, well, let's just say it again. Okay, alright. Okay, so the first one, the first crochet term is a whip. What is a whip? Work in progress. I know that one. Oh, that was yeah, pretty I good. Listen. I feel like that was like trigger finger. I was like, I bam, bam, straight back at you. Yeah. Like, Got okay. It. All right. I can do this. So, do you know what it, yeah, that was good. It's a good start. That was an easy one, though. Was it? <laughs> okay. I didn't think so. <laughs> you didn't think so. Well, you answered it pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Getting so what is, a, what is an FO, do you think? An F O. Fog off. Is that the word? Frog off. Frog off. A frog off. I don't know. Like a frog F -O. in a sock. <laughs> <laughs> well, frog. What is it? I know frog is when you pull it apart, isn't it? Isn't that what frog yes, is? Yes, that is. That is. That's one of them. That's, that's one, one of, them. of the well, questions. That okay. Well, that's that's is another that point. Another to do point. With an F O. I don't know. I'm not usually good with the um. So an FO is a finished, oh an acronym, right, mm -hmm. yeah, well WIP was an old acronym, yeah, no. that's okay, okay I'm so FO is a finished object, finished object. so oh. then do you know what a UFO might be? Unfinished object. Oh, clever, <laughs> that was pretty easy, <laughs> okay, so the next one is skein, do you know what a skein is? A ball of wool? Yes. Correct. Okay, um, do you know the meaning? Pardon? I know, you're acing it. I've never seen, I've watched two other ones and no one's done this well so far. Oh. So like... You talk a lot. You realise that, don't you? What? You talk a lot. I'm supposed to talk a lot. Well, no, I mean in general. <laughs> in general, not now. Well, you are now, but I mean, just in general. You talk a lot. Yeah, and if you don't listen, I'm like, why are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do you know the meaning of worsted? Worsted. Worsted. Oh, uh, it's something to do with the type of wool or thickness or something, I think, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's a, it's a weight of yarn. So, worsted is the standard American yarn weight. So, here we use an 8-ply, which is a DK yarn in Australia, but worsted is more like a 10-ply. But, yes, worsted. Yeah. I feel like... All that to me I just means like... something to do with the thickness of the wool. I feel like you're reading my mind. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> I haven't, I've only got, uh, just the words written down here, I haven't got the answers, so he can't be reading it off the paper. <laughs> All I looked at was the top of that, and I was trying to work that, that had me stopped with the title of it. Friends or Fibre Challenge? Yeah, I don't really get a lot of fibre. Well, <laughs> you don't get your daily fibre requirements. I hate bread and stuff, but I mean... <laughs> Isn't fiber like all brand and stuff? Isn't that what like, old people do? Like try to get their fiber in there. What's that stuff? That made Yeah, because it helps them to toilet and things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was getting in my head. <laughs> <about hitting. laughs> 
Yeah, that's what stopped me there. So, um, do you know what a yarn snob is? A yarn snob? Oh, that's the the ones that only use real wool, isn't it? I won't be talking about yarn snobs. <laughs> Are you gonna talk about you remember me talking about specific people being yarn snobs? <laughs> Saying about so and so the yarn snob. Oh, I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't. But yes, I remember yes. doing it about the um the they had a guild at that at the show, some sort of crochet guild. Oh yes, exclusive. I that was an exclusive club. Was a guild, but <laughs> and then they were yarn snobs too. They were. So a yarn snob is yes somebody who will only use a particular type of yarn, usually not just the wool but like. Things like alpaca or most, a lot of yarn snobs won't oh, use just like a I was assuming it'd just be like, it had to be just sheep wool, so it couldn't be the acrylic sort of stuff. Yeah, well, they probably wouldn't use acrylic yarn, but there are more expensive yarns than just wool. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, frog, you already know that one. Yeah. Do you know why it's called frog? Do you know where that comes from? Like right off something with that with G? <laughs> no. No? Frog is, because when you like have to pull it all out and you have to rip it, so it's like rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. Uh, so that's why they call it frog, frogging. I think mine's better. Because <laughs> you're more likely to say fuck right off <laughs> if you have to pull it all apart. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. You've seen so then me it should be called so. a frock. <laughs> with a C. I'm going to have to bleep you. Oh, that's fine, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a family friendly panel. Oh, well. <laughs> but it's okay. I can, I can put it. I will work it out. We'll work are it out in editing. Are crocheting? No, well. the kids are there. Some yeah, people get offended up. by. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I suppose because it's old people crochet, don't they? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm not old and I crochet. That's, but oh, no, I didn't say only true. old people crochet. I said old people do crochet. <laughs> okay, so do you know what a cake is? Yes, it's the top, it's the ones that you get with the different colours, isn't it? And they come out from the middle or something. That's exactly right. <laughs> I can't believe that you're doing so well. I can't believe you're doing so well. I think you should get a crown at the end. <laughs> we should have, we should have organised that because we could have like, anyway. So, do you know what yarn chicken is? Yarn chicken. Yarn chicken. No, that's one of them. Okay. <laughs> so, so, yarn chicken is when you're working on a project and you're running out of yarn. And it, oh, I did know that one. You did know oh, <laughs> I've yeah, said it lots saying, of times yes, before. Yes. Oh, I'm like, I had to play yarn chicken way, this project. I said it like it was going to be, I was picturing an actual thing. <laughs> a chicken. Not playing yarn chicken. Yes. So playing yarn chicken is trying to complete the project before you run out of yarn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I did know that. So do you know what a hooker is? Someone who uses a crochet hook. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Okay. Um, I'm scared of your answer with this one. <laughs> do you know what a stash is? A stash? A stash. Do well, I know what a stash is? Like your little stash that you got. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this you were going to say your stash. <laughs> well, considering this is all crochet yeah, related, okay. so yeah. I was in the crochet zone. Yes, and my stash. I do stash. know what a stash is because it's everywhere. <laughs> You're not very good at stashing it, I must say. But I know what you're referring to. Okay, so this is another acronym. Yeah. Hoth. Hoth. H O T H. Do you know what that might stand for? I don't know if you would have heard me say this, but I do use it a lot online. When it, like in crochet groups and things. No, I don't know. Okay, so it means hot off the hook. So hot off the hook. Yeah, so if I had just finished okay. a project, I might post a picture of it and say H O T H. Like, Right. So, do you know what yarn bath is or yarn vomit? No. 
Yeah, if those bits are jam. No, so, you know when, so like you, how you're saying with the cakes, you how you pull them from the middle? Yeah. So if you pull from the middle... And it's the wrong bit. And you've seen what happens when yeah. I can't pull it cleanly from the middle and it just goes bleh right. from the inside. So it's a yarn bath or yarn vomit. Right. So, do you know the meaning of bi-stitchual? <laughs> Stitch both ways. <laughs> Close. No, but that's. I wonder if there's people that can do that because there's lefties. I assume there is probably people that are like ambidextrous. Ambi. I can't even say that word. Ambi crutchless. <laughs> Ambi crutchless. <laughs> Ambidextrous crocheters. Anyway, bisexual is not that. Did you want to have another, another go at it or do you want me to tell you what it is? Yeah, just tell me what it is. So, a bistitual is somebody who both knits and crochets. Oh, wow. Yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it? Can I make a bit? Yeah. Yes. But you're on the right track yeah. with it. So, do you know what a C2C is? Corner to corner. Oh, I'm shocked that you know that. Oh, I know that because you bitched about it for a long time. <laughs> whilst... Yeah. Yeah. That mini mouse one took forever. Yeah, that did take a long that. time. <clears throat> Okay, so the final one I'm going to ask you. I know that you know what this is, but... <laughs> Do you know what yarn bombing is? Yarn bombing is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Asha hates yarn bombing so much. So we don't really have yarn bombing here, though, do we? No, not so much in Geelong, but they do it in Australia. They do it in Australia in certain tourist towns where they yarn yeah. bomb a lot. And what are your thoughts on yarn bombing? Poor trees. <laughs> poor trees. The poor trees. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think you did really well. Thank you. What do you think? I think I smashed it. If there's a bit there that... I feel like you found this paper and you researched it. I researched it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do it's really use, not my style. I did choose so that some of the other people did use other terms, but I don't use those terms. So, I specifically chose ones that I use yeah. myself. Yeah. Well, the ones I knew I knew. So I think you only got like two wrong. Because they were like acronyms from Acronyms. Online. Okay, well, so say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.